Robert J. Hogan is an American actor. While not a stranger to the big screen or the stage, Hogan is best known to audiences for his highly prolific career in American television which began in 1961. While he has never been a member of the main cast of a critically successful television series, he has portrayed numerous recurring characters on programs such as Alice, In Other World, As the World Turns, Days of Our Lives, Deadline, General Hospital, Law and Order, Murder, She Wrote, One Life to Live, Operation Petticoat, Peyton Place, and The Wire. His guest star appearances on other television series encompass more than 90 shows over the last five decades. The character of Air Force Colonel Robert Hogan on Hogan's Heroes was named after him by friend and series creator Bernard Fain. Biography Early career, 1961-1979 Born and raised in New York City, Hogan began his career appearing in theater, making his professional debut as Elliot in the original 1961 off-Broadway production of Michael Short Left's Call Me By My Right Full Name with Robert Duval and Joan Hackett. He relocated to Los Angeles shortly thereafter to pursue a career in television and film. He landed work almost immediately upon his arrival, appearing as a guest star in episodes of 77 Sunset Strip and Cheyenne in 1961. He maintained an active career as a guest star on television programs throughout the 1960s on such programs as Batman, Bonanza, Fair Exchange, Goma Pyle, USMC, Hawaiian Eye, I Dream of Genie, Hogan's Heroes, 12 O'Clock High, and The Twilight Zone to name just a few. He also appeared in two 1963 films, FBI Code 98 and Greenwich Village Story. In 1968 he landed the role of Reverend Tom Winter on the soap opera Peyton Place which he portrayed for two seasons. In 1969 Hogan joined the cast of Days of Our Lives, portraying Will Austin for a short time and then in 1970 returned portraying the recurring role of Scott Banning, senior for two years. He continued to be active working as a guest actor for episodic television series throughout the 1970s for programs like the FBI, Gunsmoke, Hawaii 5 o M Asterisk KSH Mission, Impossible, Mork and Mindy and the Rockford Files among many others. He portrayed the role of Sheriff Paul Tate on the relatively short-lived series The Manhunter and the role of Ben Chrysler in the miniseries Once and Eagle, and appeared in the episode No Way Out from the 1977 anthology series Quinn Martin's Tales of the Unexpected and in the pilot episode of the Eddie Capra Mysteries in 1978. He also played the recurring characters of Burt Marshall on General Hospital, Lieutenant Commander Haller on Operation Petticoat, and Greg Stempel on Alice. He also appeared in several television movies and on the big screen as Jake Lingle in The Lady in Red. Mid-career, 1980-1999 Hogan continued to maintain an active television career throughout the 1980s, appearing as a guest actor on such shows as Airwolf, Barnaby Jones, The Incredible Hulk, Knight Rider, Laverne and Shirley, Magnum, P.R. Quincy Emmy, Saint, Elsewhere, and T.J. Hooker to name just a few. He also portrayed the recurring roles of Dr. Wiley Graham on Murder, she wrote, and Vince McKinnon on Another World. He also appeared in a number of television movies including Natalie Wood's final completed film The Memory of Eva Riker, and in the role of John F. Kennedy in the film Prince Jack. During the 1990s Hogan returned to working in the theatre. He made his Broadway debut in November 1989, as Captain Matthew A. Markinson in the original production of Aaron Sorkin's A Few Good Men, remaining with the show for more than a year. He returned to Broadway in 1992 to portray the roles of the ghost and the player King in William Shakespeare's Hamlet. He also appeared in numerous off-Broadway productions, including Neil Bell's On the Bum, W.M. S. Levin Goods, The Preservation Society, Mark R. Shapiro's The Shattering, Frank Pugliese's Hope is the Thing with Feathers, and John Logan's Never the Sinner.
For his performance in the latter play he won an Outer Critics Circle Award. With his career more centered on the stage, Hogan's television career slowed somewhat during the 1990s. He did however portray the recurring roles of L.J. McDermott on As the World Turns and Charles Briggs on One Life to Live. He also appeared as a guest actor on the shows Remember When, Cosby, and Now and Again, and in the films Blue Christmas, Species 2, Advice from a Caterpillar, and Little Man. Later career, 2000-present Hogan has continued to remain active in television, film, and theatre during the last decade. He has notably portrayed the recurring roles of Phil Carbone on Deadline, Louis Sabocca on The Wire, and Judge Hugo Bright on Law and Order. His has appeared in the films Maze, Cupid and Kate, Brooklyn Sonnet, The Sleepy Time Gal, Sweet Land, Day Zero, Universal Signs, and Welcome to Academia. He also appeared off-Broadway in the plays Further Than the Furthest Thing, What Didn't Happen, Boy, The Accomplices and morning becomes a lecturer.